Wait, did you work at BYU? No, but I went to BYU. You went to BYU. I just got my diploma yesterday. From how long ago were you there? Um, like, I graduated in April. Okay. But it just came yesterday, so I was, like, so excited to have it. Like, so did you major in hand. photography? I did, yeah. I wasn't out till the end. Till the very end. Um, how very, very end? Like? Um, like my last semester. So I did a I did a project there. I don't know if you've heard, if you heard about it. Did that um, kind of portraits of gay BYU students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And um, it it went all over the place. <laughs> so I kind of you did one of Tommy. I did one of Tommy, who just moved to New York. Yeah, he's this, hit all his status up there. He's like on his way. Yeah, he's like I hit Michigan. I hit We're gonna miss him. He's fun. Um, yeah, Tommy was in it. Um, there was a lot. There was a lot of people in it. They were really brave. That was crazy. But so we did that, and that kind of What's did, the atmosphere there, like there at now? BYU. Prop eight wasn't very fun. I don't think. Like dur around that time, it wasn't very fun. But surprisingly, like a lot of my BYU friends, when I came out, well, behind that, like. I just I just had to come out because it it hit newspapers and stuff. Gay BYU student does this and this right. is what happened. So I kind of I had to, which was fine, which was probably better for me because I probably wouldn't have like told my family and stuff. You know, right. I would have been like, oh, I'll just live like by myself for the rest of my life and you know just try to do whatever I'm doing, um, <laughs> which is no way to live. P.S. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, you know, so I, so I came out, and surprisingly, like, all of my professors, they were all just like, yeah, okay, cool. Which you would think, like, at BYU, it would be different, you know? Like, a little more hostile, but pretty much everyone was really supportive there. Well, when I look back at all the teachers I had, a lot of them are gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They're just, like, living, you know... Just doing the I'm married. The and Mormon I'm, thing, yeah. But I'm like, yeah. well, they're gay. And they well, you were in you. dance theater, right? Yeah. 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 So, you just think, and part of me thinks, a little bit that they're a little bit envious. Mm -hmm. That, now that you're at the, we're at the point where, we don't have to do everything that they have to do. Yeah. We can just go ahead and make our choices. That makes sense. Yeah. But. So the atmosphere there, like I mean, once I came out, it wasn't. I felt like I could just be out. I mean, I didn't go through campus like making out or anything. But <laughs> I don't know. I just got the idea to photo to photograph people. Just like they were they were basically headshots um, from you know bust up. Like um, I feel like Madonna. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, and I, at that point, I didn't really know anyone at BYU. Like I wasn't really out. Like I wasn't in that. Group so you of put people. an ad in the BYU paper looking for gay. I I used face <laughs> I used Facebook. Oh, you did. I did, yeah. And I watched Tommy's video, a Mormon like me. Oh, okay. And so that got kind of got me in contact with Tommy, because then I just like went to Facebook and like he said his name, so I just went and looked it up, you know. Um, and I started photographing like I started photographing everyone, like I have a friend whose dad's gay and she. <laughs> They live up here in Midvale, and so I photographed them. Um, but then BYU said that I couldn't photograph people who weren't living the honor code. So I had to. I could For only your photography project. Yeah. So I could only photograph students. Students then, basically. So it kind of changed. Is I that even, the rule generally for everyone all the time? It's always been that way, or no. they just changed it yeah. like, oh, we're gonna make it. How do you? Uh. So you can't. So um, if somebody in the class wants to f f photograph homeless people, they couldn't do that project. They would. They would. They, would. they could only photograph people who are living the honor code. Right. Or if you yeah. wanted to photograph the pres presidents of the United States, right. you couldn't photograph yeah. them. Well, <laughs> by that standard, but yes, you could. You would. And I did. I photographed people all the time who weren't living the honor code, who weren't BYU students. But for this particular project, it had to be BYU students. So it kind of changed. It changed. It changed. I've heard of such a crazy thing. It's crazy. Especially where you're like, this is like art. 
and it's supposed to be reflecting right an education how can this be like fine art if you're limited to subjects your subjects are limited to students right it worked out it worked out though yeah that's probably I mean, for the best because then you're like students who are gay right. even better right and so um like i i like was going to photograph carol pearson and just a bunch of people like anyone i could get you know what i mean like people who were both gay and people who supported people who were gay right. and just anyone just if that would come you know and it turned out so i anyways i had to photograph students which was fine so we paired we photographed, I photographed students, I said we, and I don't have like a, multiple personalities, I guess. <laughs> it makes <laughs> I, you seem like you have an entourage. Yeah, I don't though. <laughs> <laughs> or they'd be like over there like on their blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> He's in an interview. <laughs> um, so I photographed the students, um, really, I, mean, I, could, I have them here, but, um, and then it was really simple, like that's all it was, it was just Faces, just people's faces. Did you do two by two, like... Side by side, uh-huh. Someone, a student who was gay, and then someone who's their friend who supported them. Right. And that person, it turned out that, like, that person could have been gay either. It was... The so lines were very... So you didn't, like, when you looked at it, you didn't say who was who. Mm -mm. You just had to look and say, okay, one of these people is gay, and one of them is a friend. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, and that person could be gay as well, but we don't know. And... That way, you weren't really outing anyone. But you were, but you weren't. But I was, but I wasn't. Yeah, and I wasn't putting labels on things, but I was kind of. You know what I mean? I hate labels, but whatever. I hated labels then. I, I guess I hated labels then because I wasn't comfortable even myself having a label. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so I was like, oh, I'm not gonna put a label on these because I don't want to label anyone. But in doing so, you kind of label people. But anyway, so we put them up on BYU, and they were got mixed emotions. <laughs> they were up for like three days and came down. And then they went back up. They went back up, but after some drama. Um, they came down on, I think it was like a Thursday. And then, maybe it was a Friday. Because so I remember I had to wait a weekend to meet with the dean, the, not the dean, but the um, visual arts head or whatever. Her name's Linda. Um, so I met with her and she was like, I decided to pull the exhibit because, you know, we can't really, I guess I could say this now before I couldn't say this. <laughs> she said that they couldn't show pictures of homosexuals on campus because BYU is an extension of Temple Square. And by doing that, that would promote homosexuality. Like the church is promoting homosexuality.